What's happening? Welcome to the 901. I'm Avery Braxton for you on this Turkey Week. Last night, the Grizzlies fell short by this much to the Boston Celtics 102 100. We got the usual from Desmond Bain, who dropped 30 points and 8 assists, but it was really the Santi Aldama game stepping up big. Started at small forward and dropped 28 points and 12 rebounds, but it wasn't quite enough to outduel Jason Tatum and Chris Stops for Zingas. Still a big positive step forward for the Grizz and the man they call Slim Spain. I think I'm in a, in a good position with my teammates where they trust me. I think I missed like two threes early on and, and literally like right after that, Des found me wide open uh, and, and trusted me for a shot. I told him like, thank you for trusting me. And an update on Luke Kennard, who we did not see last night. The Grizzlies say he'll be out two weeks while he's recovering from a bruise in his knee. Xavier Tillman is also considered week to week with his own knee injury. Sad news for Memphis football. They fall to SMU 38-34 on Saturday. The loss knocks them out of contention for the AAC championship game. But the Tigers still have something to prove and play for, including a bowl game and one of only 10 nine-win seasons in Memphis history. Like if they can go down and it's one of the top 10 teams and. and uh, winning game history uh, in this program. That's, that's huge. It's something the seniors, I think, can hang their hat on. Um, and we'll talk about the bowl game later. The Tigers basketball is still unranked in the latest AP poll, but once again, they received the most points of anybody not in the top 25. How does that work, AP? But the Tigers are ranked number 23. If you talk to USA Today, that's after their most recent 92-75 win over Alabama State last Friday. And they made it to the Bahamas. Not me, though, for Thanksgiving. That's your 901 and 91.